Hey, you tube. Today, 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 today is adult jokes and kids show from Gumbo to Laha to a fan style to other cartoons that you didn't know and get it to 600 likes and I'll show you what really go down in cartoon shows. You guys do? What is this mess? I can't even take a shower around here without you guys screwing things up. Whoa, 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 whoa. Kid cartoon shows have no chill. There are some things in these episodes that we totally missed when we were younger, but now that we're all adults, oh boy, is there something to see here. After watching this list, you are gonna be so confused as to how the writers somehow managed to get this past production and the networks. Guys, like, we're going- how, Like, how y'all begin the, uh, getting these um adult jokes that only people who like, like obviously like, 15 or no know about like how y'all get past past them because ain't no way y'all ship a tiny bit of jokes that only the upper teenagers and adults know like kids kids like two and so or ten or other how they like come on super crazy on this list i found some really dirty jokes from these cartoons and today we're gonna go through them together today we're gonna be looking at cartoons from all across the board oh no ranging from cartoon network all the way up to the disney channel let's go on to our first one thank you for saving my kingdom boys the deer wanted our sugar but i didn't give him any oh. if you know what i mean what kind of sugar what? is she talking about Princess Bubblegum made it pretty clear that the deer wanted some sugar, but I think it's obvious to the viewer whoa, the only sugar he wanted whoa, was the whoa, sugar whoa, between stop, her. Right. Rah, just stop. No. Uh uh. Uh uh. No. No. Uh uh. Yo, give me time. Yo, give me time. Between her and the other characters, seeing as they're all covered in sugar. But is this a joke? Is this a dirty joke? Her mannerisms and tone of voice says it all. Let's go on. You are not the only one with powerful eyes. Yeah, but I bet I'm the only one with see through visual. No! <laughs> I forgot. I forgot he actually done that. Animation. No, Talk about the. Man, see through vision. The man, man. No. But that, it, 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 it would be cool. It would be cool if, if I could have done that. It has to be cool. But I'm not trying to be a prankster, and I'm not trying to be a person who stops people. But it would be cool to do that. Like to see through things, it would be cool. The animation. Teen Titans, the original show, had a dirty joke in it. The character is able to see through clothing. Wow, he wasn't even concerned about the fight there, buddy. He's concerned about unraveling now, some I'm things. And I didn't notice but this I when I was younger, show, I, but I, I tell that's I a crazy joke. Very clever. Writers, I very clever. Writers, very clever. But it does make me question this guy, because that's kind of weird to do. Let's go on. Okay, you can play this, right, Bimo? Yes, oh. Queen. It goes in my butt. Oh. Yeah. yeah. I like how the background music is so peaceful in this one when the other previous clips were just but this one you got a peaceful tone as bmo literally tells the main characters finn and jake to put it in his butt now the thing about this clip is, yo, is that yo, this is an innocent clip all, but if you're thinking nasty, nasty. i don't know what to say about this one okay i'm not even gonna attempt to say anything realistically this is how technology works especially bmo the device he is this is how it works. You have to nasty, put it in the back nasty, side. So I understand that. why he would say nasty. that. He's an innocent character, but even Finn and Jake had to kind of question and say, okay, wait, hold on a second. Uh, what are we doing here exactly? F it. We're just going to do it and put it in. Interesting. Interesting. Well, this was definitely an adult joke thrown in in Cartoon Network. This is so exciting. Boy. Now I'm going to give you guys a caution. The next oh, one I'm about to no. show you is crazy. Whoa, whoa. Whoa. Booty, booty, so fresh and fruity. Mm. Oh boy, 
what is stuck in her booty, guys? I don't know. She says there's junk in there, some kind of device. I'm not gonna go in depth. <laughs> and the way she moaned at the end is super sus. What's going on, Dipper? <gasps> ah, you're at that creepy age where you spy on girls, huh? The funny thing about this clip is this is actually Mabel in Dipper's body, but take uh, a look uh, at this crazy conversation. Oh, no. The birds and the no. bees, you know? No. I, I should really be good. No way out of it. Look, it all begins with this little fella, the pituitary gland. Sure. He may be little, but he has big plans. He may be little. No, Stan! 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 Oh my lord! No! Hey, y'all don't understand what Stan talking about? Y'all are the dumb one. The birds and be the one, two, the four, five, the Stan, 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 Stan. You're crazy! But he has big plans. Whatever was taught that day had to have been scientific. The man brought out a freaking book, my guy. Why am I sweaty? A book. Sat him down, her, and taught her about the pituitary gland. It doesn't get crazier than this. This show is freaking hilarious. This is comedy gold right here. And of course, it did a little jump cut because they're not going to go too much in depth. But what exactly was he talking about? The birds and the bees? I don't think that's what Mabel wanted to hear. Not even Dipper would want to hear this right now. Uh, Margaret and I used to argue like that. Sometimes up to six times a day. From first thing in the morning until last thing at night. Don't let this clip fool you, because this guy is not talking about arguing with his wife. I'm telling you, it sounds like he's talking about something else that he was doing with his wife. Let's take a little closer look. What? Occasionally, what? we do it in public. What? what? Even while we were sleeping. Can someone explain to me why this man is laughing when he's quote-unquote telling a story about him quote-unquote arguing with his what? wife? They're not arguing. I think this is a... That's nasty. Adult oh, joke. I, I, oh man. My, no. My childhood is all a lie. Go ruin my childhood. It's all a lie. It's all a lie. This is not right. It's all a lie. Every show I watch with all film, this was a lie. This is not what it's supposed to look like. This is all a lie. Y'all ruined my childhood. Y'all ruined the greatest show that I ever seen. Y'all ruined it. Hey, why you had to go deep down in the show? Y'all ruined Gumbo forever for me. You know, I'm noticing a complete lack of balls in this room. No soccer balls, no footballs, no baseballs, no balls. Good thing I brought my own. <laughs> The Loud House by far is one of the most kitty cartoons, more true to the nature of this video, but even they had some yeah, adult and dirty jokes the, the thrown was, in, especially in some of the earlier you, seasons, so, as we see. Because Loud House don't mind putting a little, little suchness in it. They don't mind doing that. They don't mind. Like, you can tell in a lot of Loud House episodes, the such people in weirdness. Lynn Loud is talking about balls and Lincoln Loud looks confused because she said there was a lack of it. Now we all know in the real world a lack of balls means a lack of the package brother. You're not tough. But it looks like this was a diversion. Uh, not even really directed towards Lincoln Loud. And it was an adult joke. Let's go on. Besides, if I drive a group of boys to the movies in this outfit, they'll arrest me. Timmy Turner's dad caught me off guard here because I busted out laughing when I saw this because I did not think that Nickelodeon was even even allowed to like that. I mean, that's such a touchy subject. It's a really messed up situation, but comedy has no boundaries. That was insane. Fastest man alive. Which might explain why you can't get a date. Yeah. Hey. Dang. I like how the Flash didn't even realize Dang. he got burned so badly by her. The guy was like, yeah, yeah you're right. realize I'm so cool. Hey, wait a minute. Rose. That's a burn. I can finish. Wait, no, I I don't really finish fast. That's that's not me. I, I can get a date. I, I, uh, but she called him out. And, you, you know, she called him out. She burned him pretty bad because he was getting a little bit too confident, man. You know, cockiness is not the best look on a superhero. You know, if you want to be a superhero, 
you want to chill on the cockiness, be humble, save people, but she got him. And that's why that was number one on the list. Thank you guys for watching this video and you guys have a wonderful yeah. rest of